Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we're on episode number 103. Today we're going to be going over the Service Links module. The Service Links module makes, makes it extremely easy to add social networking and sharing links to your Drupal website. In fact, it's one of the easiest ways to get started if you want to add not only links for social networks, but also different widgets from Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, and among others. But before we get started, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also go to codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter. And we'd like to thank Drupalize.me for sponsoring this episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Go ahead and use coupon code CK20FEB for 20% off at Drupalize.me. If you haven't used Drupalize.me or haven't looked into it, go ahead and take a look. It's one of the best ways to learn Drupal. It's helped me out a lot in the past, and it can help you as well. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced Drupal developer, it can help you. So go check it out. Let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things you'll notice when you download the service links module is there is an extremely large amount of modules that come with it. So if you come into service links, you can see there's a couple here. But we get into the service link services, you can see there's an extremely large amount in this section as well. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on just the main service links module and I'm just going to turn on a couple of these services the general services one which is one you're going to probably want most of the time as well as the widget services which allows you to have your Facebook like button your Google plus one and your Twitter widget as well you can see there's a ton of other different types of services you can take a look and see if they apply to your site and of course add them if you need them so I'm going to go ahead and save this. As soon as this comes back up, I'm going to come back into the services section and I'm going to click on configure. There are a lot of settings here, so I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm going to breeze through them, but you can always come back in and try them out. A lot of them have to deal with where to display the service links and how to display them among the content. So the first thing is the content types that you want to display the links for. I'm going to go ahead and just select article. You can of course have them displayed for any other type of content on your Drupal site. You can also show them for terms from the selected vocabularies. So in this case I only have a tags vocabulary but I could check this box if I wanted to show up for that term. Basically in this where to show service links section you're going to tell it where you actually want the links to show up so it shows this in the links section right now on teasers and full page view that's the default and that's where I'm going to leave it but you can see you can show it just on the full page just on the teaser or you can completely disable it and also you can say you want it to display service links in nodes and you can have it show up right after the text of the content so if you want it not in the links section but actually after the text of the node you can use this option here you can use page specific visibility so if you don't want anything ever to show up on the home page or you don't want things to show up on certain paths you can go ahead and exclude or include them there you can choose if you want to show just text just image or both I'll leave it at the default you can also not show links if the contents not published and don't show links if the user is the author of the node. Here you can select and add your own icons. So all you need to do is find the folder and you can add your own icons and use this to change the folder. And then you can always fall back to the default icons if your icons are missing for whatever reason. So it allows you the flexibility to really select your own icons that you want for the various social networking or sharing sites that you want to have the icons for. I'm going to select that I want to open the link in the new window. That's just my preference. You can have it in the same window or you can have it open in a new window. You can add following text to the URL. You 
you can change the title tag with the sharing and you can select whether or not you want to use short links. So you can see there's a ton of configuration options. I did the bare minimum but you can go ahead and experiment and see what works for you. On the services page it's going to list all the different services. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the show dig smart button link I'll, which is a widget as you can see. There's list general services and widget services. I'm going to show the Facebook like link, the Google Plus One widget. I'll go ahead and add the delicious links as you can see so then there's a general services listed in there. I will also go ahead and add Reddit, StumbleUpon, and Twitter. That's enough for now but you can of course configure this to your needs. I'm going to go to the last tab here which is widgets. Here you can add different configuration options for each widget. So I can set my Twitter handle here. You can have select how you want the counter to display. There's a couple different options for the Facebook like widget. If you want a button or standard or box count, you can set the width, the font, whether or not to show faces, which action to take. The dig button, you can select different type. Google Plus, you can select different sizes and whether or not to show the counter. And LinkedIn share button, you can also make some changes as well. So pretty flexible. The goal is you have this one module that handles all the sharing and bookmarking functions for your entire Drupal site. So let's go ahead and get started at actually taking a look at this module. So now that I have everything configured, I'm just going to wait for the page to load and I'll scroll down to find an article. As you can see, you'll immediately see these social sharing links. There's the like button, the Google Plus button, and the, the tweet. I guess these are all widgets, as well as a couple other ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this. So I'm going to go ahead and show just that I can click the tweet widget there, pops it up, it adds my Twitter handle at the end, brings in the title, brings in the URL. I can of course just send out the tweet through that. If I wanted to submit this to StumbleUpon, I simply click that. It'll of course add it to StumbleUpon. And these other links of course do their respective things depending on the social network. So as you can see, extremely easy to get started. You simply turn the module on, configure the services you want, change the settings, select the content types or taxonomy. I believe there's also some blocks that you can s set it up so it doesn't have to be in the links section. You can maybe use a block if you wanted it somewhere else. So it's very flexible. It lets you control where you want these links and you can then place them and allow your users to start sharing on your Drupal site. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Thanks again to Drupalize.me. Make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. See you next time.